The Beatles' pre-fame innocence is captured in two lots at Christie's sale, one of which is the letter from Ringo Starr. On July 10th, a prominent auction house will get a banjo played by John Lennon for the first time. The instrument was present when Lennon met Paul McCartney. Although a banjo may seem out of place in the priceless books and manuscripts auction, which features fascinating and priceless artifacts from ages past, including works by notable people like William Gladstone, Virginia Woolf, and the Beatles, among many others, the lots are part of the sale. Pieces of memorabilia such as Starr's Letter and the Lennon Banjo are sure to attract the most attention since they offer a look into the lives of the young men and boys who would later become the Fab Four. Ringo Starr, at the age of 17, is shown in the potentially life-altering letter, which has a potential worth of 40,000 pounds. Pictured above is Starr, fresh off his return from a trip to France in October 1962, just two months after being the group's replacement for Pete Best. Love Me Do, their debut single, reached number 17 on the charts, and Starr was brimming with pride as he reported the news to his pal. Besides the fact that Doreen Walker and the young star corresponded after meeting at Butlins in the summer of 1961, the holiday camp where the drummer was a resident, very little is known about Walker. He sent her a total of six letters, but they don't reveal anything about their connection. It was long after Lennon had abandoned the banjo that Starr penned this letter. Although his mother had initially taught him guitar on a banjo, he continued to use the former when he formed his childhood band, The Quarrymen. When John Lennon decided to play guitar instead of banjo, his skiffle band was severely lacking in that instrument. However, the situation was rectified when Rod Davis stepped in and offered his banjo, which is now for sale. The hiring of Davis wasn't ideal as, like John Lennon before him, he inherited a banjo from the 1920s but was unable to play it. Instead, he learned the chords from Lennon's mother, Julia, 